please do not try this at home. Here we go. Start the clock. So I have officially just started sitting in a hot car and I am all hooked up here. I've got my vitals. EMS are watching. And uh, again, I want to stress, please do not do this at home. I do have professionals here and uh, well, it's it's already pretty hot in here. It's uh, We're climbing to 41 degrees Celsius inside the car and outside it's feeling like 30 right now. So it's already about uh, a 10 degree difference. So I'm just going to sit back and I guess get comfortable, sort of. Uh, temperature can reach pretty pretty substantial levels in a matter, matter of minutes. It's, uh, it's something that escalates quite quickly, uh, especially depending on the ambient temperature within the vehicle. The magnification of the, the sun coming through the, the windscreen and the windows can, can dramatically increase the temperature in there in no time at all. Okay, so we are at 14 minutes <laughs> in a car, and the temperature has already gone up to... We're at 43 Celsius inside now. Figure maybe I should put on my Cool FM glasses. We just had her take her body temperature, and her body temperature is at 38 degrees, which is considered a fever, with the normal normal body temperature is around 36.5 uh, degrees. So it's important to note that she is young and healthy and physically active person. Uh, but when we talk about kids, especially really young kids, the typical one that gets forgotten in a vehicle, they don't have the same um, temperature moderation methods. Ooh. Okay, so we're at 26 minutes now. I can only imagine what it would be like for a dog in here or a pet, something with fur. Um, as I said, I was able to change into a t-shirt and shorts before I got in the car because I knew I was going to be doing this. Whereas if, obviously, if I were a dog, I would have a big coat of fur on and didn't have that option to change into not having fur on. Um, I know that dogs, they cool themselves down by panting, but when they are trapped inside a hot car and the heat can't escape, panting does nothing for them. And within a few minutes, I think it's something like 10 minutes or so, the dog can start having um, brain damage and he can start vomiting and he can start having heat stroke and uh, just getting agitated obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of calm just because I know what's going on, but uh, if, if I were a dog, I don't understand why I'm trapped in this hot vehicle, I don't understand why I'm, I am so hot and that my owner hasn't come back. So um, I can just imagine the fear that that would cause for an animal, not knowing why they've been abandoned in this hot situation. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, that wind feels good and that water feels good too. So again, remember, do not try this at home. The reason why I was doing this is to prove a point. Do not leave your pets or your kids or seniors in a hot car on a hot day. It is not healthy for them. And it's just sad to think that people still do this.